Hey guys, guess who got a new camera to film Trip to the Thrifts? I'm so excited. If you saw my weekly vlog, you guys would have already seen that I got a new camera, but I'm pretty pumped about it because better quality videos for you guys, obviously, and I don't know, it's a lot bigger than my other one. So I don't know how awkward I'm gonna feel carrying this around. The other one I could literally just like take out, shove in my purse because I didn't really care, but this one I'm a lot more delicate with. But we're gonna try. Also, missing a few nails. That's, it's just, we're gonna ignore that part. But I am filming another trip to the thrift and we are currently at Value Village. And this is one that I don't go to too often. I. I find it's not the greatest in the world. It's very dirty. So, you know what? I thought, you know, let's just like film somewhere different and we're gonna test the waters out here. So, we're gonna get right into this. these Reebok shoes they're literally brand new they have like army print in them and everything look at the price though $27.99 so I also found these Adidas superstars they're a little beat up but they're not too bad and these boots are actually Steve Madden boots which is a pretty good find can you even see that in there um, yeah, I really like the color of them in general. Dang, that autofocus though. Also found this like Puma bag, one of those little cute Puma bags, and then a bunch of goodies over there. Another pair of Adidas. These ones are $17.99, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get these ones, but I really like the orange on them. And then I found this really cute bag. It's like very structured. And then this polo sport. I don't know what it is. It's like I think it might be um, like um, like a medicine bag or whatever they're called, um, a cosmetic bag. I really can't think right now, but I might be able to put some straps on the sides of it and make it like a cute little bag. Okay, so I'm just hunting through the little boy section, and I usually don't find that much good stuff in this little boy section. I don't know what it is. It's just always like not stacked to the like. There's not. It's the shelves are never full. Like. Just look at this, like, it's always just so empty. But, however, I did find a few pretty good pieces. I'm not sure if I'll keep all of them. Okay, so, I will just show you guys what I got really, really quickly. I did find this, like, Tommy Hilfiger half and half polo. It is orange, so I don't know how I feel about that one. This one, however, it's like a hooded shirt. It says Tommy Hilfiger. And I feel like it might be nice to like crop it or something. I feel like that would be pretty decent. And probably this is the best find is just this Nike like windbreaker type of hoodie, hooded jacket, zip up jacket. Okay, so now we're talking. I found those jeans. I think somebody said they're Jinko jeans or something like that. Um, this is in the little boy section, but they're like really wide leg and they have this really cool sign that says rage here. I thought these were pretty cool, so I think I'm probably going to pick these up because I know a lot of you guys were asking for them last time, and these aren't as ginormous as the other one. Yeah, I think they would actually fit like a 25 or 26 waist, so I'm still going to look for other ones. I haven't come across any other ones, but I didn't think you guys would have liked them as much as you guys were saying. This Value Village is tripping! I do, however, see this little guy right here. Mm. Again, $29.99, but it is brand new and has the tags. So, we might snag this one. That's also very cool.
else we got here? found the sickest Stussy sweater ever. It definitely has like those Gucci vibes happening. So yeah, I thought this was pretty freaking cool. So many people like stop and stare at me like, I'm just filming. Okay guys, I think we hit the jackpot just a little bit. I found this Kappa shirt and it has like the Kappa on the sleeves of it right there. I feel like this would be really cool to like crop. Also found this Nike retro looking sweater. I think it's really cool with the checkerboard Nike up in there. Oh, look at that autofocus though. Also found this vintage Coors Light. I think it said from the 1990s. What does it say? Maybe I just made that up. I thought I read it somewhere. But yeah, I found this Coors Light. I really love the colorway of it. I love the tag inside of it. I think that is super cool. Also came across this bad boy right here, this Adidas with the black white colorway. And then also this Club Monaco black sweater. Isn't it? Yeah, it's sick. Ooh. That's cute. Is that some Gucci we have there? Okay, I literally just went through this whole entire top row. My freaking arms are killing me, but I found a few goodies, which I will show you. So, I found this like checkerboard-ish top. I don't know how I feel about this. I might keep it. Oh, I haven't even showed you guys this stuff yet. Um, also found a few Harley Davidson shirts, which are always a good seller. Also found this new Ategs Nike shirt. So I don't know, $8.99. I might get that. Another good old Harley Davidson baby right there. Harley Davidson Jamaica. And then also this Ferrari shirt was on the ground. This is why you always got to pick up the stuff that's on the ground because most of the time it's actually the good stuff. Either people are hiding it or sometimes it just falls and nobody picks it up so it's usually something a little bit better actually not always sometimes it's trash but you know what i mean also found a few pair of pants just found these champion babies with the good old champion sign on the bottom of them navy blue and then a good old pair of the tri full adidas pants i'm not too sure about these the, they are a little bit beat up so maybe maybe not Moving on to some sweaters, so um, I found this Polo Ralph Lauren waffle shirt, which I've sold a few of these sweaters so far. Also, also found this Nike bad boy and this Tommy Hilfiger shirt, which I've never seen one like this with the gray and the cream colorway. So I thought this was pretty cool. It has a symbol right there with my ratchet nail. Also found this colorway and um, it has like the Hilfiger, 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 whatever on the collar. I also found this really cool vintagey looking um, denim kind of piece, which I think is cool. It says promise of Kodak excellence. I don't know if that means like the camera. And then I found this Echo jeans um, sweater, which I thought was really cool also. So yeah, that is what I have picked up so far. I honestly thought today was gonna be a bust and that's just the men's section. I still have one more row of the t-shirts to go through and it's been a pretty good day. Also, I'm gonna go check out the racks that they're pulling out currently always the first thing you do as soon as they pull out a rack you check it because there's always the fresh new babies hanging on there and you want to be the first to them so that's my biggest tip to you is literally you could stay at the valley village or at your thrift store all day if they're pulling out racks you could really sit there and just wait for the racks to come out okay moving on into the women's section i found absolutely nothing in that whole entire row and not in the sweaters either, so I'm pretty disappointed. But I did, however, find some good old overalls, which I'm pretty excited about. Also, I forgot to show you guys these two tops that I found back in the men's section. So I found another checkerboard-ish 
top. I think I'm gonna get this one instead of the other one. And probably my favorite Harley Davidson find ever is this yellow Harley Davidson motorcycles. Um, graphic t-shirt I think it is so cute I love the yellow on it so freaking much so I'm pretty pumped about that okay so I did end up finding a few little cute pieces starting off with this really dope yellow sweater I thought this was really cute with like the neck and stuff also found of course this Tommy shirt and I found this unique clothing and it's like see-through a bit um, I really like the pattern on it I thought it was really cute a couple pair of pants oh I also found this sweater right here um, has shoulder pads in it so I'm not sure if I'll get that but I thought I'd show you guys anyway and also found this brand new with tags Adidas pants uh, however, they are $19.99, but they are new tags, but I don't know how much I will be able to get for those, so I probably will leave those behind. And I also found these dope pants, which um, are just like these pinstripe a white, so I thought these were really cute also. And yeah, I'm probably only going to be in here, probably only going to be in here for a couple more minutes, probably like 20 more minutes, and then I'll probably head out because I'm going out for dinner soon, and I'm really hungry, so probably what's gonna happen but I'm just gonna look through the skirts and the women's sweaters like the athletic wear sweaters and then I'd probably be out of here also found this really funky really long could actually be worn as a dress probably um, a colorful top as long as well as I also found this Nike jacket it's like green but again $14.99 so I'm not sure and I found another pair of those Adidas sweatpants new with tags but $19.99 so a fresh cart literally just came out and what is in the fresh cart is this Nike Adidas and Adidas and I literally chased the guy from one end to another just so I could see that <laughs> Okay guys, so that concludes another episode of Trip to the Thrift. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below and also check out my Depop for all of these items because they'll all be listed up there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one.